Hi, it's uh, March 13th, 2012. That's my daughter leaving. Said she has my phone as she's leaving. <laughs> Kids are going horseback riding. That's got to be fun. But uh, it's not what I am going to talk to you about today. I've got several things, but the first thing uh, I was reading in the Yahoo the other day that the battleship or the USS Enterprise, the aircraft carrier thing, the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, is of course real old. I mean, I, it's been around for a long time. It's been in movies that I've watched and y'all have watched, and apparently it's getting fairly dilapidated. You know, it's it's the first of its kind, and it's as old as it is, and uh, it has all these problems uh, that you know they have to have a whole crew of experts on there. And they say once they get off the U.S. Enterprise, they're able to work anywhere because the problems are so deep and so profound and so many of them on this thing. And that they say once they get done working on the U.S. Enterprise, they can work on any other boat in the world. Uh, so what they're doing is they're, the USS Enterprise apparently is now nuclearly steaming its way to the Middle East, which, if you ask me, I... The thing that I think that we need more in the Middle East, uh, when I think of things that we need more of in the Middle East, uh, one is not weapons. Sorry, I know that's narrow-minded of me, but I don't think that we need more weapons over there. They seem to be doing really well killing people with the weapons they have over there, especially our country and everything that they're putting people through over there. But now they're sending the USS Enterprise, this big intimidating uh, aircraft carrier over there this big, old, intimidating, uh, dilapidated aircraft carrier over there. So, I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to make a prediction because I, I looked at this and I thought, hmm, this is suspicious. Why would you send a big boat like that all the way around the world, you know, to an area where it's pretty dangerous? And so my prediction is the USS Enterprise is going to be sunk before November 2012. Why before November 2012? Well... It couldn't have to do with the elections. It couldn't have to do with rallying the American people once again around some sort of symbol to get us to go to war. And I think once it is sunk by a terrorist group, the terrorists will be immediately identified. There will be no evidence. There will be no, no uh, need for evidence. They'll say, oh, these people did it, and then we will go to war again with a whole new country. My guess is Iraq. Okay, or no, we've already killed them. I'm sorry, we've already done them in. We've already destroyed their economy and their people and everything else. Uh, the other one, Iran, the one that's really scary now. Ooh, they've got all those ooh, 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 nuclear weapons, weapons of mass destruction. Oh my God, we've never heard that before. So what took us to war before, the Twin Towers, took us to Iraq and Afghanistan, which had nothing to do, in case people have forgotten, with those two buildings coming down. I really believe that this is a prediction. If I'm wrong, oops. www.micpeakperformance.com